Welcome everybody, it's Wild West Stacker. I hope you're having fun on the Saturday morning premiere train. And if you can tell, I've got a necklace with some pendants here because Mother's Day is coming up. So I'm gonna show you how to make some cool silver coin pendants for necklaces. All right, let's get to it. Okay, let's start off by showing this cool necklace. And this is from the Jackson Company again. It's a three and a half millimeter. And it's got some little half ounce. And these are by YPS Crosses. And that includes the bale, the half an ounce. They're pretty cool, but um, I gave one to my oldest. And he said it's just too heavy to have around his neck plus the weight of the necklace. So these are all going to go just back in the stack. I can use them for gifts later on, maybe for nieces and nephews. And we're going to build some new pendants all right so the first company i want to show off is this flinsky and it looks like they're out of mississippi and they had a pretty huge selection on their website i was kind of shocked and they have a little instruction manual here that basically says this is made of silver the whole thing including the little bale at the top so you don't want to over tighten it you don't want to like pull it apart too far because it will break it's just sterling silver all right, so let's see what we got here. This one's for a five mark, and it has just a flat design around the outside with a coin bezel. I'm not gonna put a five mark in here, but hopefully something else will fit. Now these are the cool ones. These ones are diamond cut around the edge with a coin bezel. So we have a dime, half dollar, and a quarter. All right, so let's just start off our first piece and I thought a cool mercury dime would look great inside of one of these and so here it is it's a 1943 and if you see the down at the bottom there it does have a little D wow, this is actually a lot better shaped than I thought it was um, let's take a quick look at this oh wow so you can see full bands on it and when we say full bands, look right here in the center. And if you could see a little line separating those two, that kind of means it's full bands. And then you see the little D down there at the bottom. Way cool. The other side looks really good. It's a nice, really clean example. I'm going to pop it right out of here. And I mean, the goal is going to be to make a pendant out of it. So I've actually never opened a flip like this before. Just using a little screwdriver and breaking these staples apart. I don't know. It's working so far. All right, let's see if this thing pulls apart now. Oh, sure enough. There she is. Boom. All right, so now I can get this dime pendant out. Boy, it's really tiny and you can see even though we're still zoomed in sorry I forgot to zoom back out where's the screw at okay I guess it is right here whoa pretty crazy all right now they said that you don't want to do this you want to pull it apart it should just kind of gently fall apart so Gonna keep gently unscrewing. There we go. Okay, so we got just a little bit of a give. And now I want this face on the front here. Man, how do you get this thing in there? I guess you just gotta be really careful. Okay, so the screw kind of fell out. Maybe I should have tried this with the half dollar first and then work my way down into the smallest stuff, but that's okay. Okay, we are screwing. It looks like it's working. Sweet. Like this. 
and they said don't over tighten it so we just want to get it tight enough Oh, it's kind of got like a little gap at the top and I don't want to over tighten it there you can kind of see the gap now see my finger right through it huh make sure it's in there all the way I'm gonna give it a little squeeze while I'm tightening it here maybe that'll help I think that's about it. I don't want to over tighten this one, so that's a pretty cool little pendant right there. We're going to leave it and we're going to move on. Next up, looks like we got the quarter. And my plan was to give my wife this little Merc dime because she really likes the Merc dimes like me. And then, let's see here, my youngest son, he wanted a quarter. And I was able to go through my stack. Let's see here. Here we go. Let's see here. He didn't want the Texas ones. He wanted the Wyoming one. There we go. So we got two Wyoming proof quarters. We're going to see here. I think one of them had a lot more scuffs. So this one on the right here has more scuffs. We're going to use that one. And what's really cool about this for him is not only is he born in Wyoming, but he's minted in 07, just like this coin. You can see it's got a little S there, so it is 90% silver. I think he'll really like this one. And I still have another one that's not dinged up as much, so no big deal. Hmm. Okay, here we go. So there's the quarter. And you can still see it's got a couple little marks on it. No big deal. Ugh, now the same thing here. Gonna unscrew this enough to slide it in. So we've got it, just a little bit of give. And now this one, he doesn't want the head, he wants the Wyoming on the front. So we'll try to put that in there as best centered we can. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we gotta somehow tighten it back up. This is the hardest thing. Well, this is way easier than the dime. Yes, it is. Size matters. Just way easier to work with the bigger coins. All right. I don't want to tighten it too much. So just enough. Now look at that one. There's no gap there. Super shiny. And the other side. Cool. So we've got two down so far, and I might have to go back and see if I can redo this Merc dime. It doesn't want to tighten all the way like this quarter does. Cool. Now. Let's do the half dollar. You're saying, what kind of half dollar? Well, this one might be for myself, to be quite honest. So let's see here. Yes, these are all have come from eBay. I went and tried to find some really good looking coins that weren't graded. And let's see here. This one comes from a company called Goldenberry. So over 50 years in numismatics. And they're out of Connecticut. Ken Hecht. Cool. Thank you, Ken. I've already looked at this, and here we go. Check it out. This is a 1943D Walker, and I have not seen a Walker in this good a condition, short of being slabbed, usually. Wow, really clean. 
and you can tell by the face you can see it's got a really clean stamp up there and you can see the lines in the dress and then you flip it over you can really see the detail in all the feathers I mean if you graded this I'd assume it's probably like a 63 64 but as you can see in some 65s grade with really nice feathers like that okay I'm back I got that out man that is a really clean clean walker all right so I open this up already and there's a little screw that dropped out that's fine and I want the walker facing the outside okay that looks good now the hardest thing getting the screw in I'm gonna come right back because this will probably take me a little bit of time all right I am back I got that half dollar connected and if you could tell it fit really good at the top so I went ahead and retried the the Merc dime and I got it to close way better so there is a slight gap compared to the like half dollar but man don't those look cool and you got the quarter here sweet now the one I didn't get a show that didn't come in the mail in time so I'm gonna show this instead here's a little baby Libertad I did find a 2007 which is my son's birth year so it didn't come in yet it's a quarter ounce so it should be right about this size I think it's like a 27 millimeter yeah didn't come in yet still waiting on that one oh well so to finish it off we have this five mark here and honestly I don't know if this will work but here we go this is a package from eBay here it is this is the way it came it's like a proof set uh, out of Italy from 1983 and this is the way they came so they had a a Lira 1000 and a Lira 500. I like this Raphael with the naked lady he's painted. And this one had a little toning on it, so I figured this would be a great one to pull out and try to use in a pendant. Because, look, I've already got a clean one in a capsule that's actually a little better condition. Republica di San Marino. There's Raphael that painted this painting. Naked lady. I should say topless. She's not totally nude. So we're going to take this out of here. And no harm, no foul. I'm just going to put that in there. Kind of makes up the difference, right? So that can go back into the stack. And now I can try to put this coin inside of the here. And I don't know if this is going to work. It's a five mark. So let me come back and we'll let you know. All right, good news. It looks like it worked. Now, there was a little tiny gap, just like the Merc Dime, but it's very tight and it's so small that this is going to work. And it is just about the same size as this half dollar. It is slightly smaller. Um, this is a 29 millimeter and the half dollar is a 30. So look at that. A five mark worked for an Italian 500 lira coin. That was a special commemorative. Really cool. So we made some pendants today. Now I've got some Mother's Day gifts for my wife, and the kids get to enjoy that too. They'll get some each. And I hope you enjoyed. We made some cool sterling silver pendants. All right, everybody. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. Now it's time to move on, so click the link down in the chat. Thanks so much. This is Wild West. Everybody have a good one.